there may come a time when you solve using the elimination method and you don't have opposites already set up. So today we're going to learn how you would create opposites so that you can solve using elimination. Um, so let me give you a problem. We want to solve this system of equations using elimination. If we look at this system, we see that we don't have any opposites because 5x and 3x are definitely not inverses and negative 2y and y are not inverses. But what we do see is that we do have at least an opposite sign here, a negative and a positive. So what would we need in this equation to make it the opposite of negative 2? Right, we would need a positive 2 right there. So you are allowed to multiply by 2 so that you can get a positive 2. But you have to multiply every term by 2 so you don't change the equality. So we multiply every single thing by 2. And so now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring down this equation as is, 5x minus 2y is equal to 4. And I'm going to multiply everything here and then bring that, and that, that equation down. 2 times 3 is 6x, distributive property. 2 times y is 2y. And 2 times 9 is 18. Don't forget, you have to do it on all those numbers, okay? On both sides of your equation. And now, we have opposites, and so we would solve using the elimination method like what we learned. 6 plus 5 is 11x. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 18 plus 4 is 22. So now, what would you do to solve for x here? Good. Divide both sides of your equation by 11 because the opposite of multiplication is division. And we have x is equal to 2. Are we done? Nope, not done. Right. Because now we need to determine what y is because we have an ordered pair here that we're trying to figure out. So what will you do with this x equals 2? Good. You'll plug it into one of your original equations for x and that will help you to find y. So we can use that one, 5 times x, but x is going to be 2, minus 2y equals 4. So I've just rewritten that equation, but I left an empty spot where x is so we can plug in our 2. Now we solve for y. So we're going to multiply 5 times 2 is 10, minus 2y equals 4. What would you do here? Right, you want to move that 10 over there with the 4. The opposite of a positive 10 is a negative 10. Remember the minus goes with the 2, not the 10. The 10 is positive, so 10 minus 10 is gone. Bring down, don't forget to bring down your negative 2y is equal to 4 minus 10 is negative 6. Subtract and take the sign of 10. Divide both sides by that negative 2 because we want the inverse of multiplication. And we get y is equal to 3. So we're saying that the y-coordinate of this ordered pair is 3. I always like to check myself, so I'm going to go back here. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. Checks out so far. 3 times 2 is 6. And then y is 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. So that's correct. So this is the solution. 2, 3 is the solution to this system. That means that these two lines will cross at the ordered pair 2, 3. We'll do one more, and then I'll let you practice, okay? So, because we only added one piece here, and that's the multiplication piece. Everything else is pretty much the same. Let's do one where we can multiply both expressions. We have 4x plus 3y is equal to 9, and we have 3x plus 4y is equal to 12. So we don't have any opposites. We don't have opposite signs, and we don't have opposite numbers, but we can create them. So we know, I like to look at these numbers, and I see automatically that if I multiply 4 times 3, I get 12. So you can create a 12 and a negative 12. So let's do that. So we're going to multiply this equation. If we want this in front of x to be 12, what we have to multiply by 4 to get 12? Right, 3. So we're going to multiply 3 times this equation. And we want opposite signs, so what sign might I have here? When I multiply, what do I have to multiply by 3 to get negative 
12. Right, it has to be a negative 4. So 3 times 4 is 12, and negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. So I will have opposites. So let's do the multiplication. I'm going to move the number 2 over a little bit. So 3 times 4 is 12x. So you can see which one it is. 3 times 3 is 9y, so 12x plus 9y. Let me make my x look better. And then 3 times 9 is 27, so it's equal to 27. So don't forget that part. Don't forget to multiply the 3 by the 9 also. Now let's do it with the second equation. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12x. Negative 4 times positive 4 is minus 16y. And negative 4 times 12 is a negative 48. So now we're going to work this out. We're going to put our line under here. The, that cancels out, which is wonderful because that's what we wanted. Now we're going to net 9 plus negative 16. Negative 7y is equal to, and then we're going to do 48 minus 27 because we have opposite signs. And we get negative 21. Okay, imagine in your mind that the larger number is on top. 8 minus 7 is 1, and 4 minus 2 is 2. You have to take the sign of the 48 because 48 is technically higher than 27, even though it's a negative 48. Um, so now, what would you do to solve for y? So, okay, so when you think about the number that's the highest, think about absolute value. So that's how come I knew that my answer had to be negative, okay? Divide both sides by your negative 7. And what's y equal to? Right, y is equal to 3. So we say, so let's check ourselves. Are we done? Nope, not done. So we've got to put 3 for y, and how do we find x? Yes, you go back and you plug this 3 in for y into one of your original equations. Okay, it has to be original. So just because it looks a little messy, I'm going to bring this over, 4x plus 3y equals 9. That was the original equation, and we're going to plug in 3 is going to be in place of y, okay? So we have 4x plus 3 times 3 is 9 equals 9. And now what would you do to solve 4x? 4x, okay, we're going to solve for x. We're going to, solve for x. We're going to divide, subtract 9 from both sides of our equation. Good. And so we have 4x equals 0. What do we need to do now? Opposite multiplication, right? We need to divide by 4. And we get x is equal to 0. So we're saying that our ordered pair should be 0, 3. Remember how I like to check it out. So the first, the first original equation is 4x plus 3y equals 9. 4 times 0 is 0. 3 times 3 is 9, 0 plus 9 is 9, so that checks. Now we use the second equation, 3x. Well, x is 0. 3 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 3 is 12. 0 plus 12 is 12, so it's correct. So these two lines will cross at the ordered pair 0, 3. Think of it as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and that'll make it easy for you. Because really, if you have those skills, your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, you can do this.